Hey YouTube, good morning. It's Numistaka back with you again. This video has got four segments. So uh, just to give you an overview of arrivals and some of the things that people are sending in. But let's start with Libertads. I've actually been planning to make a fuller video on Libertads because I think they actually deserve a complete video in their own right. But uh, if they're not on your radar, look them up. They're made by the oldest mint in North America, which is the Casa de Mondeo in Mexico. And they are, they're effectively a bullion coin. They're not really a coin in the traditional sense because they don't have a monetary denomination. But they're basically, um, you know, one ounce, half ounce, quarter ounce, tenth of an ounce and twentieth ounce. Uh, and these are the gold proof ones. In gold, they make BU and proof ones pretty much every year. But the reason that a lot of people like them is uh, several reasons, actually. One is uh, it's an incredibly beautiful coin, widely recognised to be one of the most beautiful modern um, bullion coins. And two is I think that they are just crazy wacky people in terms of their um, mintages. So no one knows kind of when they're coming out. No one knows exactly uh, how many are coming out. They, um, they have been pretty bad over the years at releasing mintages, not knowing till after the event. Uh, in recent history, they've actually set a government maximum mintage, but then who knows what the actual mintage will be. That, uh, that set you saw there was 2014, which is one of the rarest sets. But here's some of the crazy things. Uh, they can't, it comes with an SOA, but in 2014, the SOA had 500 sets printed, but they decided to only issue 250 sets. And then they offered to take all the COAs back from anyone who had them and replace them with COAs saying 250 so that it was right. But actually, 2014 is an incredibly rare year, and uh, I would have thought they were issued at round about three thousand dollars, and I would have thought these are probably at least six, seven, eight thousand dollars as a as a set. Um, difficult to gauge the price because very few of them change hands, and uh, this is a set that you don't normally see because so few were minted. I think there's only two hundred and fifty minted in total of all of these coins, except for the quarter ounce coin where there was actually a hundred extra minted. Pay close attention coin lovers, I've managed to negotiate another special deal for you for the coin connection for March 2019, 2% 2 off all purchases with the special code at checkout Numistaka. That's code Numistaka. So let's move on to another package that arrived, and this is um, not quite as esoteric or valuable, but still interesting and topical. And uh, if you've been watching the Royal Mint website, you'll have seen a coin um, named after the Garuffalo. I personally have not been uh, following the Garuffalo as a character, and uh, I didn't buy this coin myself. Uh, I thought it probably wasn't going to be as interesting in many ways as the Snowman, which I did buy, uh, which had a more general interest. But it's a pretty cool coin, and uh, this little package of coins gives me a chance to show it to you for the first time on the channel. So, let's take a look first at the Graffalo. It's a silver 50 pence colorized coin, the same kind of thing as they've been doing with Beatrix Potter and the Snowman and all this kind of stuff. They play around with the mintages of this coin each time. They're trying to find the right mintage. I think for memory, this was about 20,000 or something. I thought the mintage was probably pretty high, but they sold out in a few minutes. There's a lot of people who follow these coins. 50 pence coins, probably the flavor of the month at the Royal Mint at the moment. They also made a gold version of this coin which has a mintage of 600 coins. Here's one that you'll probably recognize. It's not a brand new coin. It's uh, 2016, but this is the Proof, 
proof version of the Chiwu Chunwang. Nice coin, nicely produced. I've had BU versions of this, I think, uh, on the channel a while back, but uh, this one looks slightly more kind of razzy. Um, I like what they do with the lines on this coin and the way they get the 999 to show differently at uh, different angles with the, uh, the minting of this coin. So pretty cool coin. Thumbs up for that one. And then the last one we've got here is uh, a French rooster. Um, this is effectively a bullion coin, but I've noticed when some people get slightly nicer ones, um, people do like to grade them as well. There aren't that many graded. It's mostly changing hands for very low margin bullion, but um, this one seems quite a nice one, and this particular person collects these 20 franc coins. So why not? This one will be sent for grading as well. Let's see if we can see a little bit of a close up on this coin, get it uh, out of so many layers of plastic and see what we have. Okay. So at least I can show you a little bit clearer now what all the fuss is about. Um, it's not a particularly kind of clear and easy flip, this one. But you know, it does look a little bit nicer. You can see that it's pretty, pretty clear in the fields and probably on balance worth grading. So let's now move on to the next one. I included this one as a quick reminder about the Queen's Beasts series, the bullion version. The, uh, the Yale of Beaufort, which is the latest in the series, is um, already out as a proof. So that's on the Royal Mint website. And the next video I put up will be all about the Yale of Beaufort proof coin. But over the next um, couple of weeks, you will see the Yale of Beaufort um, bullion coin as well. All the usual suspects will be available, including gold quarter ounce, gold one ounce, and platinum one ounce. And, uh, well, I mean, it's a good series, and it's just really a reminder. The ones I go for are the bullion coins, and I will be getting just a few of the silver two ounce uh, proofs, which is the only real bullion coin that I tend to buy. Uh, maybe I'll be getting one of the yellow Beaufort quarter ounce uh, bullion coins the same as these are here's the lion and i think the unicorn but um no i will be doing that a number of people on the silver forum will also be doing that uh, i don't tend to buy the proof ones uh, but um no each to his own and lots of collectors on the forum are providing are buying and collecting each of the proofs particularly the quarter ounce with some people going for the one ounce proofs which are particularly expensive. So the very, very last uh, little package I want to open is just to talk to you about mechanicals on NGC. So this is a, a slab that uh, you saw in a previous video, came back as part of the mega grading results, and uh, it's a beautiful French coin, very nice, but there is a tiny imperfection in the slab. And uh, quite rightly, this person has said, well, please, can you get NGC to rectify this? And uh, NGC will rectify these kind of problems completely free of charge. Uh, there might conceivably be some extra postage or something back from uh, me to the person who, uh, who has this problem, depending on situation and circumstance, um, internationally, etc. But you see here, there's a little problem on the base of this where it's got a little crack in it and uh, doesn't have to be accepted and NGC shouldn't really have let this out but they certainly will do something about it if you have any problem with one of these slabs providing it was fairly recent if you buy one in the secondary market and it has a problem they will not do anything about it you will have to have it reholdered and it's about uh, 12 uh, 12 dollars or so for the reholder uh, charge from NGC. So let me know what you guys think, particularly of the uh, the Yale, the Queen's Beasts, and also collecting Libertads.